that. Wes and I are going to have a much briefer discussion about the book in a second here, and I'm and I'm going to outline a couple of other things that are not going to seem like they're relevant, but they are relevant. Uh, but before that, so the thing I was waiting for, Spencer, is that I found a guy on eBay who got, who had like a full color book poster from like a book signing or something for um, for the for the book for the War Hero Star Flash book. That is what I was waiting on. That's what just got here. So this is it. I'm trying to start a collection of A.T. Morton merchandise. It's not going to want to roll out right, but. You can kind of see. Okay, stop recording, I'll hang it up. So this is the, that's the poster. Now we're gonna set up the tripod so Wes can come out from behind the camera and we're gonna talk about a couple of ideas I didn't get to in the last video. So we'll be right back. Two um, things that are related to this book that I only really have a cursory understanding of, but um, it's something that we've talked about is a there's a couple of stories by an Argentinian novelist called Jorge Luis Borges that we're going to talk about, and there's a an idea that a French psychoanalyst called Jacques Lacan had. Um, he used the word virtual to mean a kind of specific thing, and that's that's the other thing that's um, related to this book. So one of the things, one of the ideas, um, from the book he just won't let up. A couple of times. Stop it! You're, you're making me sick! This is insane! What's wrong with you? You have no principles! I intend to expose you, mister! I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the shrimplings the truth they deserve! Okay, listen to me, shrimplings. Listen to me close. We're gonna put this at the be- Whoa! Oh dear, I lost the tripod. We're gonna put this at the beginning of the video here. This is a disclaimer that what you're about to see is, a, is lies! And it's not true, it's not authentic, and it's just indefensible. Now you, you just Whoa, stay wait, right there, mister. Wait. You've been lying a lot lately. Oh I'm taking over this video. Noah, we're putting you in, the, we're locking you in the bathroom. <sighs> we're locking you in what? the bathroom, mister. Get up those stairs. What did I do? Jerome, what did I- I'm not letting you out of there until you've learned your lesson. Wait. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, now this is, this is where we talk about what's really been going on. I'll bet he's been lying to you too, hasn't he? No, we, we talked about it, Jerome. Yeah, you talked about the book. Even, even this one thinks that it's a real... What? What are you laughing about? This is a serious we, matter. We talked you about think, it. You think lying is a joke? You talked about what? You talked about... Okay, here's the truth, Shrimplings. The book? There is no book! It's fake! It's all fake, he made it all up. Here, here's the story. You think that's real too? It's not real, nothing's real. Here's what he did. He went on Fiverr and paid a nice Indonesian man to design some, some retro sci-fi art for him. He put the first draft on the cover because he thought that was the final draft. And then like a fool, he later found out that the final draft hadn't been sent to him yet, so when that arrived, he made a poster and made this whole, spun this whole yarn. This is just a lazy framing device for some, for some pseudo-philosophical ideas that, that Noah's trying to propagate as if he has some kind of thoughts in his head, like some little shrimpling like him has thoughts in his head. I mean, what's that all about? So he made it all up, and you know what else? He thinks he's clever, because you, so Borges, you remember Borges who he was talking about? I was listening through the door, I heard the whole thing. Oh. Why, why are you, is this not surprising to you? No, I told you, he, Noah already told me about this. What, no, you don't understand, he was lying about the whole, it's all made up. Yeah, I, know I know he told you about, you know that? Yeah, I know. How'd you know that if he was lying to you? Be because he told me. All right, you're not. It's you'll get it in a, in a second here. Wesley's not getting it, but we'll just give we'll just give you. This is just frustrating. Okay, he made it on Amazon and then took it down. It's blank. There's nothing in it except for some page numbers and some rough notes that he copied and pasted into it. And then the back of it. Look at this. The back of it is lo the description is lorem ipsum. He put lorem ipsum on the back as a description. That's just, that's just infuriating! And, and you think it looks worn, oh like it's a used book? You think it looks worn out? Yeah, he did that with a sanding block and ran it under water. It's just unbelievable, the, the lengths he would go to 
to deceive, to deceive his friends. Why would he do that? That's immoral. It's immoral and I can't stand for it. What are you laughing about? This it's, is a serious it's issue. It's just a joke, Jerome. It's not a joke. He wasn't joking when he was joking. He wasn't joking when he was talking about it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here's what he thinks he's clever about. There's a, there's a, a Mexican fellow named Jorge Luis Bor... Uh, jo what's his name? Jorge Luis Borges. Jorge Luis Borges is this Mexican fellow who wrote who wrote some stories where he did a fake book review of a book that wasn't real, of a, with an author that wasn't a real person. Noah read that story and thought, oh, oh, this is a good idea. Maybe I could do this in a YouTube format. Oh, isn't that clever? It's not clever. It's a lie. But then there's another thing. There's another story where Borges was wrote this whole story around a, an encyclopedia article that didn't exist, but it was from an encyclopedia that did kind of exist, but not in the form that he claimed it did. So it's just all this, he, he read this falsification and in, in his twisted little mind he thought, oh I like this, oh I like all these lies, all these layers of deception. And so he thought that would be fun for him to, for him to try his hand at that, which is I just maddening. Good idea. And then shut up in there! Noah hasn't read a single word that Jacques, Le, that Jacques Lacan has written. All, all he did was listen to this, to this, uh, to this, sort of, this Hungarian communist called Slavoj Žižek, and he was talking about the the Lacan. Well, well, Jerome, it, it is kind of interesting because what Noah got from from what he was listening to from Slavoj Žižek talking about Lacan. Slavoj Slavoj Žižek. So what what he got was this idea of these three levels of virtual that. Oh, okay. No, I know about this. This is a. See, this is a good way for Noah to, to frame intolerably dry philosophical ideas in a way where he's criticizing them, which is the same thing that he did in the last video. Now, this is getting really dizzying. This is getting bad. So the three levels of, of virtuality that he thinks is some sort of, he thinks is some sort of clever trick he played is that the alien in the book is doing a virtual reality, and then the alien doesn't have strong evidence that there is actually a virtual reality because he's not actually connecting himself to the circuit all the time. So in that sense, it's a virtual virtual reality because it only exists as far as he believes in it. And then the book only exists in as much as other people believe in it. So it's a virtual book which makes the virtual reality in the book a virtual 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 reality. And he thinks that's clever, but it's just more layers of lies and deception. Don't you think that the idea of taking taking these philosophical ideas that, like you said, are really dry and then presenting them in a book makes it more palatable, makes it easier There is no book! But that's the point. There's no book. The, the How book is that the point? The book doesn't matter. It's just the ideas that matter. The book is just a Then a why didn't he just say the ideas instead of lying? It's sometimes easier to communicate ideas when you frame them in a certain you way. You think, oh, okay, so this is even less defensible. You're saying that he took philosophical ideas and tried to make them more palatable by lying to his friends. You know what? That's just narcissistic. He thinks that he's smarter than everybody. No, no, no. Don't he you thinks think, that they wouldn't... Don't you think that that if if you present an idea as if... Man, it's I don't know why I'm even listening someone... to you. You don't sound like your voice is in my head at all. Don't you think that if someone presents an idea as if it's... It's already something that's been published. That gives the idea more credibility. It makes yeah, it, that's it the makes trick people that, more likely to think about That's the trick that it. that Mexican scoundrel Borges did when he was doing these. He did the same trick, but but much better. <laughs> well, yeah, we can't we can't expect Noah to to live up to. Hey, I feel like I you know, actually executed actually this pretty published. well. Hey, shut yes. up! <laughs> By making these ideas seem as if someone else came up with them, Noah can talk about them in a way that gives them credibility. It makes people more likely to think about these ideas that he had and wanted to tell people about. Sorry, frankly, I just haven't been listening to you for the last 15 minutes that you've been talking. I'm just, I was, I was thinking about some other things that I decided ahead of time before I started thinking about them were more important than what you were saying. So, so I hope you said something worthwhile. I'll probably just end up cutting it out of the video, but uh, thanks for your time there. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not letting Noah out of that bathroom for at least a couple weeks. He'll, uh, really cleanse his body by just, by expelling only and not, and not taking anything in. Well, hopefully he'll be dead, but if he's not dead, he'll be pure, so. That's the plan there with Noah in the bathroom there. We might want to feed him just a little. No, you can't feed him. You can't feed him. That'll, that's like telling him what he did was okay. 
That's reinforcing the behavior because it does the, the dopamine systems in the brain. He's mining the dopamine in his brain when you give him the food and so then he's going to think it was okay what he did and it's not okay. He was lying. That's categorically unethical. Did you want to talk about, about the book? No, there is no book. That's why I put it in quotes because it's not real. Okay, here's what I have to say about the book. It's not real. And you didn't find anything interesting or worthwhile in the ideas? Well, well, unfortunately I wasn't able to read it because it's not a real book. Well, but clearly if you know it's not real, you know that there were ideas that Noah had that he wanted to convey. I don't care about book. Noah's ideas. I care about my ideas because they're organized and rational. Alright, I'll tell you something, Westworld. Here's a good book. This is a real book. Look, there's actually words inside it. Look at that. I, I wrote this book. I wrote a real book. Noah wrote a fake book. This one's real and it really has words and it really has philosophical content in it. Why don't you go on over to Amazon and get yourself a copy of Jerome Anderson's Grand Amalgam of Aphorisms. Just like, I mean, don't you think so, Wesley? I mean, I know you're very attached to this idea of reality. I'm not attached to it. What? Uh, of, this, of this idea that your book is, is real and... And you are conveying Noah, ideas in Noah it. said it himself that the book, it's a, but the pages are blank. It's a virtual book. It's not a real book. This is a real book. It's got real ideas in it. And it's real interesting. And it'll help you. It's a self-help book. So just go get yourself a copy of Jerome Anderson's Grand Amalgam of Aphorisms. What are you laughing about? You just think everything's a joke. <laughs> you postmodern nihilist communist piece of scum. You little shrimpling communist nihilist postmodern communist. Let it out, Jerome. Let it out. Are you patronizing me? No, I would never. You would never? But you are right now. That's a paradox. You didn't even detect that, did you, with your irrational little shrimpling brain? Jerome, are you okay? No, he's, it's too horrible to say. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. Jerome, what's wrong? The most intolerable thing is that he, he found out about all, about Borges and Lacken and Jizik all from the, from listening to podcasts. It's the most insufferable fact. I can't be under the same roof as him.